With Mark, Mark Sunday, chance to create a bit of history for this uh, smallish football club. Yeah, it'd be, um, it would be a magnificent story to, to get the club in the football league. It's just what, what the chairman deserves, you know. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of animosity towards the club. You know, I remember when I played here with everybody like this little old club on the hill. And uh, now wherever we go, it's we despised for some reason. But, you know, it's the, you get the money, money bag shout, the vegan shout, and, and dirty tactics shout at the top of the fair play league. And not had anyone sent off in the, in the league. So, strange, but it would be a brilliant achievement. And then we're going to do everything to try and achieve and I guess the negatives that you've just mentioned are things that you, as a manager, turn into positives. Yeah, I think you try and turn those kind of things into positives and, and, and create a little bit of siege mentality. And, and um, look, we're going to do whatever we, we can against a really good family team to, to try and get up. Yeah. Ideally, your goal would have been to win the league, but it's sweeter. Some, they sometimes say it's sweeter to win at Wembley. I think if you were guaranteed, somebody guaranteed you winning the club final at Wembley over winning the title. I think you'd take winning the club final at Wembley because it's such a, a dramatic occasion and, and um, look, only one team can win the league and Lincoln, full credit to them, have done that. But we're after the next bit, best thing, which is to fill the last place, the last promotion place as our tramway and um, that's what we're going to try and do. You took four points off tramway in the league season. Does that go out the window on Sunday? I think so. I think that, um, I think it's purely and simply on the day and who performs to the best of ability. And who has the most players that perform at that level on the day will prevail. You've had two experiences of Wembley as a, a manager, one win, one loss. Do you think that stands you in good stead for the, the, the day on Sunday in terms of your experiences? Um, possibly, uh, I just think it's about the players, it's not about me, it's, it's about the players and the supporters and, and having, a, having a good day, but it's only a good day if you win. You know, and myself, the staff, all we can do is, is point the players in the right direction with the coaching and, uh, and get them as in good a shape as we can for three o'clock on Sunday. Dale Bennett and Keanu Marsh Brown are two of the final members, members from last season's Wembley. Do you think that makes a difference having a, almost a sort of fresh squad going into Wembley? Possibly. I think it helps if you have two or three that have played there before and um, you know, know what to expect. So, yeah, I think, you know, you, you just hope that your players go there and yeah, don't freeze on, on the big stage and just play the game. You know, like you'll hear managers talk about the it's, the, it's not about the occasion, it's the game, and it is, it is definitely true. You've, you've just got to play the game and, and let everything else take care of itself. Yeah. We mentioned Dale Bennett and Keanu. Sam Russell and Liam Noble have also played at Wembley, so there's, there's a bit of Wembley experience in there. Mark Ellis as well, I think. So we've got a, bit of, we've got a little bit of experience of, of the national stadium. Um, you know, you're hoping that they lead the boys that, that haven't played there as well. Yeah. Wembley with its well-renowned pitch, playing surface, should suit your style of football? Yeah, yeah, but you, you have to earn the right to play. I think possibly two out of the three best footballing teams, um, along with Aldershot, in the final. So, it, hopefully it's a good spectacle. I know Mickey, Mickey likes his teams to go and play, and they're going to play with a good intensity. And, um, we're certainly going to try and play like we like we can and like we do, and, and that's to try and play with the ball. So hopefully it's a cracking game and um, may the best team win. Yeah, Tranmere are going to have the edge support-wise, 20,000 plus, Forest Green, four, possibly five at a push, but your fans that were here last Sunday were magnificent, so they will play an important part. Yeah, I think when you look at where we are, and then the, the, yeah. uh, the catchment area that we've got is, is minimal, isn't it? You know, you've tried are a big club historically. They've been to the League Cup final, um, you know, and be, been to Leyland Dat finals, played in League playoff finals. But 
I think there'd have been a really big crowd there for ticket pricing would have been sensible, you know. So to charge forty pounds for a ticket or forty three after charges, you know, it's, it's horrendous. The, the women's FA Cup final is on Saturday evening, it's fifteen pounds. You know, by my maths at, at twenty thousand people probably there, at forty pound a head, it's eight hundred grand. So if it's twenty pound a ticket, you probably have forty thousand people there, still eight hundred grand. Plus you have an extra twenty thousand people. Buying merchandise, so whoever's decided it must be crackers. Yeah. Tranmere will probably be seen as everybody's favourites. Does does that suit your team? I don't Underdogs? No, I don't, I don't think we look too deep into that. They're, they'll they'll be favourites because they finished second, rightly so, and they've got a bigger fan base, rightly so. So, but like I say, it's on the day. It's, it's who performs on the day. And, and I'm sure Mickey will be, be saying the same thing. It's about focusing and performing on the day that will get you through. Yeah. I had the pleasure of watching your final training session at the New Lawn as we speak. It's Friday. What, what are the plans now leading up to Sunday? We have another training session tomorrow. So we're going to, our pitch has been used for a, for a youth tournament. So we can't get on a pitch tomorrow. So we're going to train on, on route um, and then get ourselves over to, to London um, sort of late afternoon. Get get ready for the game. Yeah. Is there any plan to do the the, the walk around Wembley pre-match or in the week, or is it, has it not been no, the logistical no, logistics? We're going to go on Saturday morning. Um, like when when the kit man goes to put the kit out on the coach, we're going to go in early and have a quick look round for the boys that want it. So um, it's up to them. Yeah. Going back to the training today, it looked quite intense out there. Yeah, I think we're trying to get that balance between making sure we do enough without risking injury. So there's always things as a coach that you need to, to work on and we've got lots that you know we work we need to work on and to, to make sure we're right for Sunday. So yeah, it has to be intense. You go to any club uh, on the day or two days before a game, it'll be really intense because you know, you've got to get the players at it and, and focused on their jobs. Yeah. I guess also as well, Mickey Mellon knows all about Forest Green's strengths and weaknesses and it's the same as you. Yeah, you know, that we, we'll both, both sets of staff, try to be leave, leave no stone unturned um, for the game and, it's, and you keep going back to it, it'll be on the day, about who performs on the day. And we're hoping that our players come out on top, but it's going to be a, a tough game, two really good football teams. And uh, I hope it's a cracking game. I mean, the most important thing is, well, you, you go into the game in, in good form and good health after last Sunday's magnificent performance against Dagenham. Yeah, we, we played well. You know, we, we went to Dagenham and dug out a horrible 1 1 draw. And then came back and, and for 70 odd minutes, we, we looked quite good. We were quite controlled, quite mature. And, um, and managed to get through. So but I think. I think Sunday will be a, a different game. I think both teams like to play with the ball, and um, hopefully it's an entertaining game. Yeah. Finally, the chairman has said if if you do win it, Wembley, great. If it doesn't happen this Sunday, it will happen. How does that sort of? How do you react to that? Re react to that? Um, I keep getting asked by every media outlet says what what's going to happen if you if you don't win. That, nothing changes. It's still the Still, the the thing that we try to achieve is to is to gain football league status. But it's difficult. Only one team can win it, and only one team can 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 get through the playoffs. But the league's getting stronger, you know. And, and there's some good teams in the in in this league. 